Right, okay, well, I'm going to report this to like our senior manager. Oh, don't get us told off. I'm not going to, but I don't think they'll let you fly the drone over the side. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Spalding, once again with PJ Audits. And we're taking a look at Gist, Gist Spalding. Hello. Hi, can I help? Oh, you I can do, know. yeah. What kind of help are you offering? Well, I don't know. This is, you're fit, like filming on private property, that's all. We're just crossing the road at the minute. We're gonna be around the perimeter for half an hour. We're making a, a YouTube video about Gist Spalding. We have just arrived, weren't expecting yourself. No, no, I work here, I'm a manager, that's all. Oh, are you? What do you do? I'm a transport shift manager, but I'm just... Where do you mean on the premise, like, whereabouts? Basically, that... not on your land. Do you know where we are at the minute? Yeah. We're on a crossing, aren't we? It's, well, that's not, but that is, yeah. Yeah, where I'm standing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, we'll just stay outside, make the video, fly the drone, put it on YouTube. Why? Right. Sorry? For what reason? Money. Right. Yeah, pay. Same reason you go to work, why do you go to work? Want to be paid. There you go. Why do you want to get paid? Pay your bill. To, to feed yourself. Right. Oh, what's, what's, what's wrong, sorry? No, 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 just the, the drone. Are you, have you got any license to fly the drone? Of course we have. Yeah? Right, okay, well, I'm going to report this to like our senior manager. Oh, don't get us told off. I'm not going to, but I don't think they'll let you fly the drone over the side. In what way? Because I don't think they will. Why, why is that? It's private property, I don't think you... And if you, I haven't seen any form of licensing, it's not for me to get involved in as such, but... Make yeah. your mind up, do you want to see it or not? Well, it's not for me to get involved. I'm, I'm a There's two people higher than me, there's a site manager, there's all sorts, so it's Okay, not... so do you think that we can't actually fly the drone over the I don't know. No, I, permission. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not... Airspace. Uh, Airspace, fly. Yeah, I understand that, but... You don't give doing, anyone permission for that. You're doing the whole video based on gist. Trying to. Yeah, which is... I'm not sure. I'll have to... Do you want... To, just to pay respect to yourself, because you've been fine, do you want us to follow you so we can find out uh, what, what your stance is on it? Bear with me. Tom's car's not there, is it? Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, I'll take you into our engineering manager. OK. It's a good job we do. We'll go in and have a look then. Empty. empty. Yeah. No good being empty. Oh, it's nice to be out the wind, isn't it? Oh, that's better, yeah. What we got to look at? Capacity. We will support Marks and Spencer's food to grow and ensure our customers have the products they want. So we're doing yeah. Marks and Spencer's then? Marks and Spencer's food logistics here. Sorry, two seconds. I don't know where this is his office, but you're not in there. Yeah, no problem. Site safety notice board. Yeah. All the different fire extinguishers. There's the markers. We've not put any dates up there, yeah. no? It's not really um, on display, is it, for the public? You must have had an accident yesterday then, or today. <laughs> it's great that they've got a defibrillator on site. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, guys, can I have you? We literally just arrived, we was outside just filming and we're just showing respect to your colleagues who have um, okay. questioned what we're doing, that's all. Okay. Everybody's got to be alert nowadays, so we like to be uh, open and transparent with what we're doing. Yeah. So we're making a YouTube video, we're going to stay outside, fly the drone and put it on just to make some ad revenue. We're about to see you flying the drone, not over my site. Yeah, over yeah. my site. Yeah. The, yeah. the airspace, of course, is not property. No, it's not, no. Okay, what size drone are you using? 249 gram. Okay, have you got your ID? Yeah. And you, you got, can you supply that to me? I can show you that I've got one. Yeah, can you show me your drone ID and your licence ID for flying it? Well, that's a bit too much, my friend. Okay. I can show you that I've got one, just to satisfy you that we're all um, legit. I'm not comfortable with you flying it over our site unless I know you, you've got your licence to fly it. Yeah, well, we are licensed to fly. Okay. 
Can you prove that on your ID? I can show you that I've got an ID, yeah, yeah, so that you know, but I can't l let you record it or anything no, like that. No, I don't want to record it, I just want to see your drone ID and your operator ID, your operator flying ID. My for, concern for, is, it's a bit windy, I don't want your drone flying down and hitting somebody. Neither do we, of okay. course, we're on the same page. But do you know on a 249 gram drone, you only need the operator ID, you wear it, I right? do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what did you... As a business, you, I've got to have a... Oh, what, uh, sorry? I've got to have a flying uh, operator ID and the guy who's flying it. No, you don't need a flyer ID for a 249 gram. No? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. But look, on the, on the top. One, same as what I've got, yeah. See, on the top. Oh, you got okay. one? Yeah. What, oh, a Mini 4? Yeah. Wow. Must, yeah. must be on good money. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a good job we've got somebody who knows what they're talking yeah. about. So you know then that as long as there's no flight restrictions. There is none in the area. Yeah, and you've got a, a drone that is, the rules are relaxed. Mm. So you can fly over commercial. It's just that Mark, the, you, yeah. your colleagues yeah. here, they're not going to know all that, but... We're, I'm, I'm just, we're just dubious about the wind and it hits yeah. people. Yeah, so am okay. I. I don't want to lose that. As you know, they're a thousand quid, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Can okay. you tell us anything about the site while we're here? Yeah, I can, yeah. Do you want to leave one there? That's fine. Like, yeah. I'm also conscious just about your car getting hit just because where you've parked it, that's all. Our lorries have to turn, turn left out of sight. Right as you turn, you well, won't would see you it. Would you like to yeah, come park here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just grab your car and park it on here. Yeah. Sorry, guys. No, I wasn't trying. To... No. No, I was just concerned. Nowadays, all... nowadays, you could have, um, you know, shooed off a potential threat or something like that. So no, no it's the best way to be. Yeah. yeah. Take care. Yeah. Um, so what is it you're actually doing? Just making the YouTube video. The car's on. Yeah. So We're about this far. Oh, about. Oh, that's fine, yeah. Okay. I'll give you a few chance what we've got then. Thank you, mate. That's brilliant. Follow us. That's spawning inside. That's a nice area of shot. Yeah. Is that from Google Maps? Yeah, that's just from Google Maps, that one. I've got one from a drone myself at night time. It's zoomed in and, and enlarged quite well, that has. Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. So you're currently here. Okay. Right. So uh, we're just storage and warehousing really of chilled product. Lorries in and out. Uh, we serve M&S majority now. Now I've seen on the sign outside that you do uh, yeah. M&S. Is this part of the one that leads? Uh, we, we, we're classed like an RDC as such. So product comes here from customers. Right. Okay, and then we take it out to the Barnsley depots. I used to uh, work in college. And then, yeah, and then they'll go from there. Yeah. Is it what they call like cross dock? Yes, we'll cross dock here. Ah. Yeah. So, I can't see the out though, or do they come in and out on the same side? In and out. That's why she's a bit concerned about your car parked here. Oh, right, okay. The turn left. On the yeah. actual warehouse itself, the is it a big fridge or freezer? Yes, yeah, fridge. Oh, that one over there is a 30,000 square foot fridge. And then we've got smaller 7,500 and some uh, 7 so, and 8,000. So, what kind of temperature you have in the fridge? About two, 2 degrees? 2 degrees in there, yeah. yeah. And then ambient control at 14. And they can only work for so many hours, is that right, in there? And yeah, it's, it's, not really, it's not really classed as cold. It's, uh, it's not like it's minus Oh, is that yeah. right? That's what so, I've heard before. Yeah. 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 Do you so, ever have any trouble with flooding from the river? No, not at all. Well, you must be lucky then. Yeah. Everybody else That's, seems to get it. No, never get any of this aisle. It's quite low in the bottom there. Yeah. yeah. It, goes straight out to... it looks like the bank's also raised as well. Yeah. It is a river, not a canal. Yeah, it's a river. Is that a public footpath down the side of it? Yeah, it's a, uh, yes, it's, it's an access. I'm not sure it's a footpath. It's an access for uh, maintaining it. Right. The river authority. Okay. Yeah. So how many vehicles do you run from here? At Spalding, I run 100 tr uh, lorries and 169 trailers. Wow. Do you have a shortage of drivers at all? Not at the moment, no. no we've yeah. got our own driving school and that as well. So that oh, yes. Yeah. Well, that's what I used to do. I used to run a yeah. driving school oh, and right, teach yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, about you, about you, 17 you years doing it, yeah. lorries, lorries and buses. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What, what's the policy on leaving the refrigerated units running whilst no tractor units connected? As long as it's connected to the warehouse, okay, because risk of fire. So if it's mm. out in the yard, we have we, okay to run. But uh, we haven't got sufficient electric on site to run more on electrics. I was going to say, do you run a ton of electric? No, so, so with the power what comes into site, we're restricted on the, on the grid of what comes in. Right. So I did the work last year to see if we could put electric posts in there, and it's just not sufficient. But through refrigeration, plant takes up a hell of a lot of power. Yeah, because it's three phase on the trucks as well. It is, it? yeah, it's three phase motors on all the uh, trailers. So. Yeah. 
with uh, not going electric yet. We're testing systems like with solar panels and battery packs and everything on trailers. We've got various things out there. Yeah. So um, I was going to say, yet. since the photo was taken, have solar panels gone on the building? No, not as of yet. Right. No, no. I noticed a lot of local firms actually advertising for drivers, so it, you know it makes a change to hear somebody that's not sure to drive. Yeah, no, we're, we're all right because we've been investing in. Uh, younger drivers coming in through the your own centre. Yeah. Start with us, sign up for three years. Uh, that keeps us, young kids now can't afford the, yeah. you go out and pay for a class yeah. one straight away. You'll pay for it as long as they commit. Yeah, if they yeah. commit to it, and yeah. then that dilutes over three years if they decide to leave. 24, 7, 360? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're shut for a few hours Christmas day, that's it. Right, so, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, so what kind of shift schedules do the drivers run on then? Various. Many, many, many shifts. Everyone. Right. Some are on four and four off. Some are on like uh, early starts, late afternoons, dinner time starts. So, do you accommodate for drivers like so? Say somebody who's got kids or something like that. They have part-time drivers. And yeah, all that yeah. Kind there's of all stuff. different shift patterns in place for them. Yeah, we've got a driving hours just requested various shifts because his missus works opposite and what have you. So, yeah. so it sounds yeah. like guest. Uh, quite a good place to work. Place. Yeah. Well, they always have been. I've though. been here twelve years now, and I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for our video, that will certainly be a, yeah. a great thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm I happy mean, with. Um, yes, I mean some of these little back street companies they want you to really. Uh, well, when it were uh, we thought it was digital tech, I was put bloody. Yeah, I used to work for one which was uh, had been a workshop all day because that's my trade. Yeah. I started off as a truck mechanic, yeah. and then I'd do my full day in the wor in the workshop. Then I'd be out driving at night for eight yeah. nine hours. Wow! I used so. to work for one. Uh, I used to do the driving lessons, and then they used to and it, you know I'd do Monday to Friday, eight hours, ten hours a day, and then they'd say, "All oh, right, you're out on the run on a Saturday and out on the run on a Saturday." Yeah. And I'd say, no, "I'm not. Can't do it." <laughs> <laughs> you know, you put your foot down. Yeah. Well, legally you can't. Yeah. Yeah. can't yeah. Yeah. Do it legally. There was no way of monitoring it as stingy back then. Yeah. Yeah. So we uh, no digital card. No get away from it. Yeah. Yeah. It just shows how many people you have working here. Look, look at all the cars yeah. in the car park. That's obviously an old picture now. How that, old? That is, that's probably about three years old. Right. Now. You're not being tempted to get your drone up to oh, do it? We've got one. We've got a nice night one with trucks going around and all the lights and everything about on it and what have you. But that's good for just directing contractors on site yeah. when I need it. Yeah. Could could your lens actually replace that, get a photo of that size? Because yeah. I'm not sure how wide, how high would you need to be to get that? Because it's quite a big site, isn't it? it is. You can stitch it together though. Yeah. You can do the 360 panoramic shot, can't you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This this photo uh, software stuff where you can stitch mm. all your photos together. Okay. Well, I presume you're a busy man. I don't want to keep you. Um, you, haven't got a spare, you haven't got a spare geese brawly, have you? <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that like the new little uh, trainers? You, everyone's got a geese brawly nowadays. <laughs> no, it's like um, Greg's at. Um, yeah. 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 People are buying. Company workwear. Yeah. You'll be wearing McDonald's uniforms next, won't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not, no. Yeah, where, but where are you guys on plan on standing? Around the fence for 20 minutes, just to film a few of your wagons. We literally parked up and the girl spotted us. Yeah. yeah. So film some of the wagons, a forklift or two moving around, drone up and move on. Depending on the window. Yes, yeah, so it's quite gusty out there. Yeah. We didn't get very high on the power station, about 20 metres. Just yeah. We, 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 couldn't, we couldn't get any higher. No. So we are, you know, responsible. Yeah, okay. We're not, uh, we're not into A losing drones or B hurting people. No, I've got And C getting sued. What, what do you do with your drone footage then? Do you publish it anywhere? No, I'd use it for uh, gutter inspections. Yeah. Uh, it saves putting people at risk. I agree. So I can do my roof inspections, yeah. gutter inspections. If I just need to review a video, we did the parking exercise. Uh, about three months ago of how we want them to park because they used to be parked here there, and everywhere so we had the yeah. drone up and just had the lorries come out back that's fantastic like that. and using it for training stuff. material yeah. that's great is it your personal drone no i bought it through the company oh right okay so it's uh, registered to the company and you say a lot of people buy drones and think oh that's a great idea and never use the thing no i see it i've got no use for one at home yeah. At all. Well, unless you want to check your gutters. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But, uh, well, but, yeah. To be honest, I only ever use my drone at work. I'm, I never 
ticked out and fly mm. for fun, do you? Um, I did do with a, a train. We live near a, a steam train track, Heritage yeah. Railway, and that was a fantastic scenic way for the viaduct. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be nice. Uh, yeah. 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 Had to wait for a long time for it to come. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly well, ran out of battery. Well, like I say, I was uh, I was up at Angel of the North over the weekend at my daughter's. Yeah, things like that. And I was gonna uh, I was gonna do a, a 360 around the Angel of the North, but it was windier then than yeah. it is today. Mm. Yeah, it was really windy at the weekend. Yeah. yeah. It, it, oh. it's, it, like I say, it, me using it, I don't have to get a cherry picker anymore. Get guys up in a cherry picker, hire yeah. a cherry picker and stuff yeah. like that. So. And then they've all got to have the training for the you know, cherry training picker. Pick, yeah, all, I know your safety kit all has to be in date and it's just cost, yeah. cost, 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 cost and risk. Yeah. You've got somebody 15, 20 metres up in the air and yeah. the lorry's driving around them. Yeah. And one hire of the cherry picker pays for the drone. That's it. <laughs> well, it's not just that. I mean, you're restricted on the weather as well. If it's too windy, you can't put a cherry picker up. No. Yeah. So. Yeah, the fantastic bits of kit, and uh, we promote them on our videos. And the mm. safe way, mm. and the correct way. Operator ID is a must, but the flyer ID is only required for a heavier drone. Mm. Yeah. Well, we've got one anyway to cover with Oh, yeah, they're free. The, the, free of charge. Yeah. But it's just more questions, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, time consuming. Have you done your flyer ID? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. I've done yeah, I've it. I've got a plastic card. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it was about £8 a year for the yeah. plastic card, and I get £5 million. Oh, you're, you're with that FPV. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get £5 million insurance yeah. and everything mm. else. As well, yeah. 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 Right, well, well I don't. think she'll let him get back to work. <laughs> don't swear at him. <laughs> let him see him. Yeah, okay, no problem. I used to hear, like I say, if you can, if you're staying on the outside, you yeah, we'll keep us. No, yeah. no, we're don't, not going to interrupt. Don't get one over. Okay, no. What okay. was your name, by the way? Dale. Dale. I'll give you a queuing, Dale, oh. so you can uh, see who we are and yeah. uh, you can take a look if you wish. Yeah, I'll see you yeah. on, uh, Thank you, Dale. All right, uh, East, and I'm PJ. PJ. Yeah, <laughs> PJ and DJ. Nice to meet you, Dale. Okay, okay, DJ, thanks. Dale. Bye. Well, that was fantastic. So, yes, just literally got out of PJ's car. There are no double yellow lines, as you can see. No problem with parking there at all. And the girls um, you know, raise a concern. People filming. The day was fantastic, weren't it? Oh, yes. So the site does stretch all the way down there. So we'll have a little wonder and see what we can see moving here at Gist, Marks and Spencers. Paulia. A nice vehicle there with the Marks and Spencers sandwiches. Very nice. The Gist tractor unit. And some staff with full 360 degree PPE, including bump cap. Very clean site, got a bit of a shunter in the middle there. And lots of these plastic trays. For the Marks and Spencer luxury food items. Looks like they have their own diesel pump down there, look. Oh yeah, this wind is getting very strong. Waste compactor, Fetford International. Well, we wanted a forklift moving around in where, and they've treated us to one. Fork should be tilted back a little bit, but all PPE'd up. Electric forklift, that one. Going into bay 20. <laughs> oh, it's on his radio. I think these are digital radios. I will just get my walkie talkie scanner out just in case. Um, as long as they stay outside the property, we can't do anything. 
So there you heard, um, the lady says she tried to stop us on the way in and passed us over to Dale. Uh, there's nothing they can do because we're outside to say. We are. We are indeed. Yes we are. We'll have to get one of those. Yeah. Does it scan? Yeah, the scans. Picked them up straight away. So he now knows that we've already spoke to Dale and to leave us alone. Now what do you reckon RJP Environmental are just about to do? Because I can see a pipe. I think they're going to empty some tanks down here. I think. Yeah, so that'll be interesting, but it's far too windy to get the drone up at the moment. Do you agree? Oh, I wouldn't put mine up today. No. They're not all wearing those two tone jackets, are they? Nice You're right, mate. Anyone in the warehouse, please? What's that, mate? I was just watching you a little while ago. Oh, you know who we are? Yeah, DJ and PJ. Here's yeah. a keyring, mate. What was your name? Paul. Paul. Nice Over to meet you, Paul. How are you doing, Paul? Sorry, no, I know nice. it's Paul. It says there, uh, Paul. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're just listening to you, lad. Yeah. Oh, that's listening to warehouses. Yeah. What do you do then? You're quite dead, eh? Mechanic. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, just going to say he's a fitter. Right. You know Dale, who started off as a mechanic? Yeah. 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 And you stayed? Was you working together at the same time? Yeah, yeah. I've been here 18 years, I've been here. He, he, come, he come about 12 years ago, 10, 12 years ago. So you've seen him get promoted and you're yeah, just like yeah, sat yeah. back and... Well, I turned it down because I didn't want it. Yeah. But you've seen what a good firm it is to work for. It is a good firm, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. I'd say for 18 years it was a good firm. Exactly, yeah. 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 What's he about to do just now? You've got some sort of cesspit? Cesspit here, yeah. Right. Yeah. No online mains or anything like that, so no. no, You're not online? No. The whole site's not online? No, nor's the other site either. Bloody hell, I'm surprised at that. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit that windy was, today, isn't it? Yeah. That yeah. must be a big uh, septic tank in there, then. Yeah, yeah you've got all this is septic tank. Oh, where we're standing? Yeah. They'll not make much difference to it then with that little wagon. No, no. <laughs> hey, Do they come? Can, Come regular, come once or twice a week. They come. The what, sorry? Group when the busy time is, they come back twice a week. It's, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. But you're not only allowed to go toilet once a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. All these site rules and policies that they tell us that we have to adhere yeah. to. Yeah. We've got a no filming policy. They tell us, as you know. Yeah. I'm yeah. not on your site, lover. Yeah. <laughs> now they um. Yeah, we're very strict on things like that, health and safety. And, yeah, good though, isn't it? Because yeah. it keeps everyone safe. Yeah. 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 Oh, brilliant, mate. Yeah. yeah. That's not a job I'd fancy. No, not me either. Pumping <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of waiting around, I presume. Watching our videos. Hey, I'll, we'll tell him to subscribe. <laughs> He'll get some uh, minutes. Well, it's the same as these that deliver powder and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's like 45 minutes to, to blow a tank up. Yeah. Same fuel, that's 45 minutes to blow fuel up. Yeah. And waiting for the oil to empty out the sump. Yeah. That's yeah. your job. How long yeah. does that take? Three minutes. A few minutes, there only, you go. There's only about 40, 45 litres in the lorry. So. Exactly. We're running on a PTL motor. That's why his engine's running. Anyway, yeah, pleasure, you. pleasure once again, Paul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see you later, Thank mate. You. Have a good one. Oh, that's a nice uh, tractor on its treads. Yeah. Do you know the technical term for that? Go on, then. No, I'm asking. I don't no, know. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you were going to tell me. A track. Tractor. A track. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, on track. Yeah, on track, yeah. Let's think over there. Oh, down right, that sounds uh, favourite for the next video. They run a lot of vehicles as well. So, unfortunately, the drone cannot go up on this one. I think it's going to be far too windy. I might try it, I don't know. 
Uh, it's not worth it, mate. There he is, sucking poop. It's a bit smelly, mate. Later, a bit smeller. There. I'll stay here then. I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> So, as the Marks and Spencer refrigerated trailer leaves the site here at Gist and Spalding, it's far too windy once again to get the drone up. I do apologise. We had a lovely chat there with Dale and the girls as soon as we arrived. Uh, we maintained that respect. We didn't go back on the land. I would have loved to have seen down the manhole cover into the cesspit. Or would I? <laughs> Probably not. So let's just hide a keyring. The location of the DJ audience keyring is just under that stone just there. So if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a keyring, good luck with that. And that's it, guys. PJ's already back in the car. It's just started to rain a tiny bit. We'll move on. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much to Dale.